Hello, and welcome to a brand new Killer Sites course. My name is Ben Falk. I'm a web designer and developer from sunny California, who's been working in the web field for about six years. I'll be your guide as I demonstrate how to build a basic PHP and database-based e-commerce system that integrates with PayPal to handle payment processing. This system will include basic categorization of products, the ability to store details about products, like title, description, price, and a photo, a cart system that'll track which items are actually in a visitor's cart, and integration with PayPal so that visitors can purchase items from the store. I've split this course up into two main sections. The first section will handle everything you just saw in this demonstration, the front end of the website, whereas the second section will focus on building an administrative backend for the system, so an admin user can log into a password protected area on the website and add, edit, and delete products and categories without manually needing to modify the database. Along the way, I'll be talking about a variety of PHP-related topics and concepts, including using object-oriented programming, also called OOP, the MVC, the Model View Controller Design Pattern, using coding style guides, and documenting your application. If you're a beginning or intermediate developer who's interested to see what an MVC and OOP web application looks like, this would be a great course for you. Let's talk about what skills are required. This course is aimed at the beginner and intermediate web designer and developer. It's aimed primarily at someone who's interested in learning more about OOP and MVC. And while I'll do my best to explain these concepts, I do expect you to have at least a basic understanding of what those are. I also expect that you'll have a beginner's understanding of PHP, HTML, and CSS and how to set up your computer to be able to run PHP. If you're missing any of those skills, I'd suggest you brush up a bit on your knowledge and come back to this course once you're ready to move ahead. Let's talk about tools used. In these videos, I'm going to be using a variety of tools. I'm going to be using MAMP, which stands for Mac, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Um, basically, it's a Mac application that allows me to run a web server on my computer and also allows me to access a database and use PHP scripts. If you're on a Windows machine, I'd suggest you look into using WAMP or XAMP, which do the same thing. Um, secondly, at least for the last video in this section, you'll be needing to have some sort of web hosting available. In the last video, I'm going to be placing a file live online, and if you don't have web hosting, you unfortunately won't be able to follow that section of the video. Not a huge deal, it isn't absolutely required, and you won't be missing out on much if you don't have that, but you won't be able to follow along with my description of PayPal's IPN without that. Third, uh, for database work, I'll be using PHP MyAdmin to create and manage a database. This is included by default with WAMP and MAMP, so you'll probably have it, and uh, most web hosts offer it within the site's uh, hosting control panel if you're working on a live server rather than on your local computer. Finally, I'll be using a Mac text editor called Expresso to do my coding and to test and demonstrate the application. This is simply the editor of my choice, but any text editor will work, including something super simple like Notepad on Windows or TextEdit on Mac. However, I would suggest that you at least find a text editor that has basic syntax highlighting to help you catch misspellings and bugs in your code. If you're looking for something free, I would suggest Windows users look at Notepad++ and Mac users look at Text Wrangler. So let's get started. Thanks for watching this course, and I hope you find it useful. If you have any questions about this course, please feel free to contact me either at my email, which is ben at killersites.com, or post a question on the Killer Sites forums at killersites.com community. Thanks.